Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ray Ray Beats. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Dr. Octorex loop player to sample uh, WAV files. We're going to use that in conjunction with Propellerhead's recycle. And uh, we're going to make a really cool beat. We're going to, first we're going to use the Dr. Octorex loop player to slice a, a drum loop and make a really cool drum pattern. And then we're going to use the Dr. Octorex loop player to uh, slice up a melodic sample and we're gonna make something really cool so first thing you want to do you have your new project in reason you're gonna load propeller heads recycle it's gonna ask you if you wanna launch a WAV file and this is where you're gonna select what file you wanna slice up uh, I've already gone ahead and pre-sliced a file I'm gonna show you where it was, it was in my 2012 folder uh, it was drums and then I think it was this uh, yeah it was this STD break right here and I pre-sliced it so I'm gonna show you I'm going to show you what it looks like after I sliced it. See, these are all my slice markers. You use this pencil tool to make slices in the file. And then you can use this arrow tool right here to listen to your individual slices. And the arrow tool can actually move the, move the slices anywhere you want them to be to. So after, after you've sliced your file using this, this uh, pencil tool, you'll just go File, Save As, and you'll save it somewhere. Because you're going to launch this file. You're going to launch this file in Reason create Dr. Octorex loop player we're gonna use this button right here to load our sample 2012 drums it was the STD break uh, the first thing you wanna do before you start messing with this sample is disable loop playback it's automatically enabled you wanna say nope and disable that loop playback trust me on that bust your volume up now we can go over here to the piano roll go into edit mode and we have our slices. So I'm gonna crank out a real quick drum pattern. All right, so we got a little drum loop. We're going to open Recycle again. And now we're going to choose a, a melodic sample we can use. So I'm going to go into my, I'm actually going to go into my 2013 folder. Looking keys. choose this one yes I want to move the left locator to the first slice point I'm just gonna take each individual note using this pencil tool so we got one I think two starts here We're going to save that file, save as, one bar, it's one bar. Okay, we're going to go back into my 2013 folder, keys, and just save it as a RX2 file. Right there, we can go over into Reason, create another Dr. Octo Rex loop player. Now we're going to launch that file, sample slices, 2013, keys, it's right there. 
disable loop playback. Always remember to disable loop playback. Volume up. Now we can go over to our piano roll and rearrange that. That's how you use the Dr. Octo Rex loop player to make a really dope beat. Uh, I'm going to take it a step further. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take it a step further and show you how you can really make that drum loop you slice even doper. Is if you slice a, vi slice a vinyl drum loop, just add some, uh, add some Kong drums on top of that shit and it'll be fine. That's how you make a really dope beat using only the um, only the Dr. Octo Rex loop player and uh, recycle with propeller head. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Ray Ray Beats. Please subscribe to me and uh, check out my uh, beginner's tutorial for reason uh, five. I have a beginner's tutorial on my channel. It's really informative. Um, and here's a dope beat I made. Check it out.